Okay, so we are switching it up today. Instead of using my usual typical sketchbook, we're gonna switch it out with this ginormous big boy right here. And we're gonna do an illustration of characters, character design, yeah. <sighs> okay, so we did this before with my characters, um, redesigning my characters from my early, late, early high school, late junior high years. Now we're moving up the timeline to after college, which is a bit of a dark, depressing, not as dark as junior high, but still depressing time for me where I just graduated. I need to figure out what I need to do. I took whatever job I had. I didn't like it. On top of not liking it, I felt unmotivated. So my motivation, my motivation transferred to my artwork. I tried to motivate myself by creating a story, but I didn't like the story either. So I just did whatever. Um, the character design did not come out great. But now that I'm in more of a motivated mood, <laughs> I thought maybe we could revisit these characters and improve them. You know? And the characters pretty much changed. Their characteristics changed from how I initially... Because when I initially made these characters, it was from the initial viewpoint of that first script. I changed it a little bit, but it barely changed again. So I want to do. I wish I had the original, original, because um, I actually redid these. This one, this guy stayed the same. I should redo him, but I really like how he looks, so I'm gonna just keep him as is. So he's not the only. He's the only one I'm not touching. But the one I am changing is this one. These two main characters and her. These are the characters I'll be working on today. So yeah, just write your name down, um, keep them out, I'm just gonna put him away. And the reason why I'm using this is because I'm be working in markers, instead of using my regular marker pad, my other marker pad, I might as well just use this one, it's a big giant sheet of paper. I wanna use it. Although I have to put paper between it, but it's still, still very good. I'm also using my Milo along with, along with yeah. <laughs> Along with the pens and markers I got from Fine Below, which is this one, not this the other pack, the gray pack, because I want more skin tones. And it's also had gray, so it's very helpful for that very those very deep satur saturated colors. You know. <sighs> so now I'm sipping the tea. Why did I put the rest away? What am I doing? I must have put him away. <laughs> Oh, okay. So there we go. So put him away. And I'm just going to concentrate on these and start making these characters, redesign these characters a bit more. And make them... I think he's fine too. But I don't know. I feel like I do more with him too. Also, I'm going to pick a weather. I think I'm going to stick with fall since this is fall right now and I'm doing this. But I wait 2020 still, so... By the time you see this, it'll be next year. So yeah, let's get started. First character, Pardita. Pardita. When I initially wrote this character, she would be warm and welcoming, but phrase things in a manner that anyone would misunderstand. When I finally came to the portion where I'm adding screen tones, in my head she became a character that comes off as kind and friendly, but she had a shrew side. <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing. <laughs> she knew what to say and how to present herself to get whatever she wanted. Of course, this was after I was almost done. I came up with this characteristics. So the story was left unchanged, but I thought was there. So to reflect her new characteristics, I made her have a lot of sharp edges that appear softer than it seems, and to give her a contradiction to her inner self versus her outer appearance. I use a lot of friendly warm colors of yellow, orange, and pink.
All right, so here it is, the finished look of... Why everything looks so dark, even when I put extra light on there? Oh, whatever. Anyway, finished look of Perdita. <laughs> um, so I guess we should do another character. We got three more. Let's see who's next. Okay, thinking we should do a male. Marcelo. Marcelo. His characteristics pretty much stay the same, but how I conveyed his character is more readable. He is basically that reliable teddy bear, soft, caring, and stable, using lots of circles and squares, but rounding out the edges as much as possible, which can be compared to still looking a bit similar to his last design, but I think giving him a sweater instead of a regular shirt makes him more soft and approachable than a standard t-shirt. I just said that. <laughs> and the design on his pants add a little bit of flair to his attire. So, a little bit different than his original um, design. But, you know. And also the colors really bring it all together. Like lots of warms and neutrals, which gives a little pop to, um, of the blue. Gives off a warm, cozy guy who can be a little extra, but in a good way, you know? So, yes. Oops, so far it. Okay, here we go. So here we go, Marcelo. I really like it. The only thing I'm probably will take back is the hat, but that's it. But anything else, I really like how it look on him. So, okay, I guess next character. Next character, Ela. <laughs> I don't like how I made her lips right there, but yeah, Ela. <laughs> Ela. Ela. Her character changed from the original concept when I la first wrote her the story, but I never bothered to change her appearance to match the personality, which bothered me hugely, like now, which is the whole reason why I started to do this project, so, you know, we, I got a good video out of it, I hope. <laughs> um, originally, she was just a shy character that was easily pushed around. Now, she's still a very soft character that carries a lot of insecurities, you know? But, um, has a thorny reaction, well, to, um, to, um, responses. She sometimes believes that she overreacts and goes home regretting it deeply, adding to her originally, already, sorry, <laughs> large pile of depression. She is working on it, but still has a long way to go, and I have a hard time letting people get close to her. To convey, to convey, to convoy, to convey it. <laughs> convert it <laughs> mom <laughs> I don't know why but that uh, makes me laugh but anyway most of her shapes are all circles including her shoes supposedly the only and biggest angle on her is her long sweater vest which is something that could represent her thorny side that she can take on or off whenever she please or whenever she's ready there you go that's and it works with her personality story so there you go that's that's it.
Okay, so here is my newest improved character, Ilya. This is the old one. Yeah, so there you go. Ila. I said Ila. Ila? Ella? Something like that. So, next character. Okay, so the next character is supposed to be Jax. But when I stopped and like thought about it overnight, slept on it, um, I realized that I can't really think of Jack's character. He doesn't really have a character in the story. So instead, the character I said I wasn't going to do, I'm going to do instead. Jordan. Or Joran, sorry. Joran. Because although he doesn't have a... He w doesn't have a point. Well, only point in the story was to antagonize Ela and be friends with Marcelo and Jax. But he still had more of a character, at least. I got a more aggressive character than I did with Jax. So I'm thinking I'm going to do with him. And in my head, I also rewrote the story. So I'll tell you about that over while I'm <laughs> doing this. So yeah, let's put that back. Get this started. I take it back. I take it all back. I just got this idea while I was making tea. I'm going to do both the characters, but I'm not going to do it on camera. If you want to see their new redesign, please go on my website. Links them down well below. Only because also this is getting long enough, but I will still tell you about it in maybe another video. I plan to do another video with these characters anyway, and I'll tell you the new storyline in that video. So yeah. In my head, new storytelling line in my head. I'm not remaking the new storyline. Story the new storyline I have in my head, if I didn't rush it and, re um, and draw it out and everything and put it out there. See, I keep going up. <laughs> I'm excited. Um, but yeah, I'll re I'm going to redraw them. I'm going to redesign them. And I'll put them up on my website so you can see the final results. Mostly also these are side characters, so they're not as important as the other three. The other, the, yeah, other three, <laughs> the first three I did. So yeah, this is the video is long enough, so cut it in here. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, hit the notification button. Check out my website um, down below for other contents and illustrations by me and so on and so forth. Thank you for watching. Bye.